My name is Kyle Kuzma, and this is my why story. So today we're going to the YMCA, and I'm going to surprise a lot of kids, um, shoot hoops with them, and you know, really just you know enjoy being there with the youth and the next generation of Flintstones. These kids, they have no idea that I'm going to be there, and for me, that's awesome. Let's think about Flint right now. Do you guys own Flint? Do you have ownership in Flint? I say we do have ownership. We keep the city great, we keep it clean, and if we don't do that, then we're not keeping up with our city that we own. Flint is a place that I grew up in. My family's always been here. You know, it's a place that is you know, really hard knock. I wanted to be the one to always give back every single year, just to giving something positive to the city. It's like tight knit, it's like, it's like this, and I feel like everywhere else I've been is not, and that's why I think Flint is so special. Hi, Kyle. Oh. <laughs> How you doing? The Flint YMCA was a safe haven for me. You know, that's a place that I kind of grew up. You know, that was literally a second home for me. Being there all day in the summer times and even after school and going straight there. My mom always worked and had other obligations to do to make ends meet. I'm really thankful that the Y was there, especially for someone like me who worked all the time. You know, I could drop you off and I didn't have to worry about you. I think it's gonna be great for the kids just to see somebody who's, you know, worked hard and made it and to come back into the community. You know, I can't wait to see what these kids do when I walk in. Who do you know that has given back uh, to the city of Flint? Kyle Kuzma. Hey, okay. How does that make you feel? Huh? How does that make you feel for someone from your hometown to make it big, someone said not forget about his city and to give back? You show me if he can do it, I can do it too. He didn't forget where he came from because some people forget they don't even come back to their hometown. What would you say um, if he was here? What would you say to him, you know, for giving back? Thank you for your generosity and keep it going. Show him love and affection. He did a lot for us so I can keep on stepping in his footsteps and I'll get where I want to go. All right, let's go surprise these kids. Are they going to do something this year? Are they going to make the playoffs? No. Now, who said we not making the playoffs? No! Oh! It was you. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? How you doing? Good. What's up? How you doing? Good. What's up, little man? How you doing? I think it's very important for me to come back here and talk to these kids, give them some hope. Why is the why important to y'all, though? The why is important to me because I get to learn and have fun. That's what I like to hear. Ah, you know, my biggest thing is to tell them is to never give up on their dreams. Was it an easy journey from like going where we at to like where you at now? Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't easy at all. You gotta have confidence. Like you have to like believe that you're gonna go somewhere in life. Y'all ready to hoop? Yes, sir. Let's get it. Come on. I love working with kids, and you know, especially kids from Flint. I never had a professional basketball player come back to the city and come to a YMCA or just come hang out and shoot hoops. For them to see somebody from Flint, Michigan make it to the NBA, that's giving them hope. We love the Y on three. One, two, three. We love the Y!